Hey, does it feel like you've got the dinosaur of business laptops? You know, it's just old and slow and when you come in each morning you think it needs a cup of coffee and a good kick up the arse to get started? <laughs> well, you might be tempted to chuck it in the bin and buy a new one. But I tell you what, you're about to make a massive mistake. Over the summer, we uh, completed a project for a client who had exactly this dilemma. All of their machines were a bit older, and because they used it for Citrix, it didn't really matter too much. But our project was to help them move over to Office 365. And that meant that all of these older machines were suddenly doing a lot more heavy lifting. Applications like uh, Outlook, OneDrive, and Teams were all using up a lot more resources. Now, they could have gone out and bought a whole load of new laptops, like this one, the Lenovo ThinkBook 14. Absolutely perfect for office work, teams, all that kind of good stuff. Now, this costs about 650 pounds. So they could have spent 32 and a half thousand pounds on new laptops for their 50 employees. But instead, we suggested that they just upgrade the machines that they had. A little bit of research, and uh, we found out the parts that they needed here a nice fast SSD drive, and some extra memory. A whopping 87 pounds in total to upgrade each of those devices. But does this really make a difference, I can hear you ask? Well, let's show you a real world example using a machine that we've got here in the office. All right, let's start the timer. Here we have our trusty Lenovo ThinkBook that we've got here in the office. And we're gonna get started straight into the log on screen. Marvelous. Here we go, logging in. And now we're gonna get start. Wait, what is, what is happening? Oof. All right, okay, now we're gonna get straight into our applications and then we can get into our emails and get on with our day. What is, what is happening now? Ugh. Uh, okay, okay, now we can get into our emails and we can start our day. 151. Now, to save ourselves some time today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna clone the original hard drive onto our brand new SSD using this fancy little tool here. A little bit of time later, and boom! One exact copy of the original drive. Now, for today's build, we're gonna use a laptop, a toolkit, a brand new SSD, and some new memory. So, we're just gonna pop off the case. Here we go. Look at that. Get all those screws out, and ping. There it is, memory, hard drive. So we're gonna take off the memory shield, we're gonna swap out the memory and put in a new bit of memory, double the memory in 60 seconds. Now, we're gonna take out the original hard drive here. Nothing wrong with this hard drive to be fair, it is a few years old, but it's a traditional hard drive. We're gonna put in a brand new SSD that's about 10 times faster. So, ping, in it goes. We'll screw this back in and remember, what we did here was we cloned the original drive. So actually we've got an exact copy of the computer exactly as it was before. We don't have to set everything up from scratch. So we're just gonna pop these screws back in and then we can get the case back on. Here we go, case is going on. Wait a second, is he really putting any screws in? Hmm. Okay, start the clock. All right, we're starting the machine. We're at the log on screen. Typing in the password. Okay, let's open up the office portal. And boom, we're done. 32 seconds. So we increased performance by 250%. Every single time they start that machine now or click an application is massively improved. Now, if you want to put a real value on that, we can look at that same 50 person business saving about five and a half hours a week now, just in computer startup times. Now that's worth over 5,000 pounds a year if you base that on average salaries. So we spent what, 4,400 pounds on hard drives and memory upgrades. This thing basically pays for itself in the first year, just on time wasted for the computer to start in the morning. Not to mention everything else they do in that year and the year after and the year after that. Oh, and you know what? We didn't even spend 32,000 pounds on new laptops either. Brilliant. So look, if you like our content, give us a like or consider subscribing to our YouTube channel so you can follow along with us. Drop us a comment and let us know your thoughts. We'd love to hear from you.